So you're thinking about moving to Meridian, Idaho, but you're not sure exactly where you wanna be. You're looking at new construction, but you're trying to find that best fit. Well, today I'm gonna to give you a nice little community tour of a brand new subdivision here in North Meridian, Quartet. We're gonna walk through kind of some of the neighborhood, show you everything that it has to offer, talk about the location. Then I'm gonna take you through two of the homes that are currently for sale to give you a little bit of a taste of the home that's available here in Quartet. So if this is something of interest, go ahead and stay tuned because we're going to hop into it right now. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about Quartet. Like I said, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of everything that you can expect if you were to build a home here in the area. My name's Chase Dolan. I am a local real estate agent here in Meridian, Idaho. So whether you're moving in nine days or nine months, I would love to make your move to Meridian as smooth as possible. So all of my information is down in the description below. So do not hesitate, call, text, email, schedule a Zoom, whatever works best for you, I would love to chat. So to get started, let's talk Quartet. So Quartet's gonna be located in Northwest Meridian. So we're gonna be just up, kind of in the Northwestern tip of Meridian, but not quite out into Nampa. The location is gonna be pretty prime, especially for new construction. It's hard to find new construction kind of still inside of town. So you're gonna be looking at about a five minute drive to most services, restaurants, shopping, everything like that that you're gonna want. You're about five minutes away from Costco. And then when we're looking at schools, this is a really exciting part of town to be in because you're gonna have a couple of new charter schools getting built out with Gem Prep. You're gonna have Coal Valley Christian um, just right down the road about a block that way. And then the brand new high school, Owyhee, is just a few minute drive, just a couple of blocks away as well. Quartet itself is gonna be a Brighton developed community. So that means your builder team is gonna be Brighton, of course, you're gonna have all tourists, and then you're gonna have James Clyde. I live in a Brighton community myself, so I know that it ends up being an absolutely gorgeous place to live. And that builder team is gonna be pretty high quality, but it also allows you to have a few different levels of the type of build when it's talking about budget, amenities, size, everything like that. This community is also putting an emphasis on larger home sites. So this isn't gonna be the completely up against each other, no privacy sort of community. It is the classic suburban feel. So you're gonna have basically big lots being on the third of an acre size, but most of them being around that fifth to a fourth of an acre. There's gonna be 200 home sites total throughout all of the phases. They have it broken up into a few different phases right now. They've started with just kind of the beginning portion of the community. Prices are gonna start in the 500,000s for a few of the Brighton builds, but then they can get all the way up to eight, nine, 900,000 depending on the size of the home and the level of builder that you're looking for. For the most part, most of the builds are going to be spec homes, which means they will list them when they're available and after they've been built and everything. But there are a few build opportunities in the neighborhood itself. If there's a very specific want or need that you have, reach out to me because we'd want to get ahead of that just a little bit. The community itself is going to offer all sorts of different tree-lined walking paths like I'm walking on. They're going to have a community pool here soon, hopefully ready by next summer, I believe is the current plan. And then they're also going to have a park, playground, and all sorts of green spaces. Again, I live in a Brighton community, so I'll show you a little bit of an example of what it'll look like once it's completed. I live out in Homestead, which was built a few years ago. We moved in at the beginning of 2023. So this is kind of what the end product will look like with the pavilions, the walking paths, everything like that. They do a really good job with their common spaces. As far as the type of build and kind of this level of home that you're looking for, you're going to have some diverse options here in Quartet. So you're going to have a couple of single levels here behind me. You're going to have the three-car garage. There's going to be some options for some two stories that we're going to walk through. Brighton, Alturas, and James Clyde all build really, really nice homes. So they're not quite that entry level builder that is reflected in the price point, but they will allow you to get kind of that next step up. It's not that full multi-million dollar luxury feel, but James Clyde and Alturas in particular have a reputation for being some of the best designed and the best kind of appointed with designer finishes here in the valley. But as much as I know you like seeing the neighborhood and everything, the biggest comment that I always get is let's get inside some of these homes. We don't just want to see the outside, walk us through them. So let's go ahead and hop in to our first home tour of the day. Okay, so for our first home tour, we're going to go through this home behind me by Alturas Homes. This is going to be a four bed, three and a half bath, just over 3,000 square feet. This one's going to be priced in the mid 700,000s. You're gonna see it's a full two story with a three car garage. Alteris does a really good job with some of their facades on the outside. They try and make them a little less normal builder grade, I would say, as well as they really do do more landscaping than a lot of our builders out here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. I built my home with Alteris, so I'm excited for y'all to see. 
So as you enter, you can see that you're greeted by a nice dedicated entry space. So you've got the shiplap up the walls, plenty of room, bench, table, whatever it is that you want to put there. You're going to have the hardwood floors or the engineered wood kind of going throughout the main level of the house. Alturas includes this in pretty much every single one of their floor plans. So really what you're going to see is you're going to have hardwood or some sort of vinyl plank throughout all of the main living areas. And then in the bathrooms, laundry room and such, you're going to have some tile. And then in the bedrooms, you're going to have carpet. But that's pretty much the only places that you won't have the hard surfaces. As we're walking into the house, you're going to see you still have a pretty long entryway. To the left here, you're going to have a closet. And then you're going to have your powder bathroom. Give you a look at the entry from this side. Alturas does do really high kind of doors and archways, and then they give you the wood wrapped around most of them. So even though this one is gonna be priced in the mid 700s, it definitely gives you a little bit more of those luxury finishes. This is gonna be your office or your first guest bedroom. There is a dedicated closet. Don't know why I just gave you a sound effect, but we're gonna head upstairs last but here is your great room. You're gonna have your fireplace with your built-ins and your shelves on each side. The fireplaces, they do a really good job making them a little bit more unique. They're not just what you see in every home. This one's gonna have a tile surround. And then I love these kind of more modern traditional mantles. They're not just the wood beam or kind of the old fashioned looking mantle. I think they do a really good job. You are gonna have tray ceilings here in the great room as well here in your dining room. So you're gonna see the dining room is just kind of right between where your kitchen is going into your actual living room. So this is kind of the definition of open concept living. As we head outside first, I wanna give you a little bit of some insight into how big this patio is. So I'm gonna take you over here to one edge and I want you to see that this patio is covered pretty much the entire length of the back of the house here. So you're gonna have a ton of room here for if you wanna do outdoor dining. Something that's really big that my in-laws got me into and now it's a big must for my wife and I is we always need some sort of wall like this that we can put a TV on so that in the fall, in the summer, if we wanna watch TV, watch football, whatever, we can actually go outside and do it. This is gonna give you a little bit of insight into what the backyard landscaping is included here by the builders. So it's gonna be pretty basic, but you're gonna have the rock, the grass, as well as some shrubs and a tree. Back landscaping is one of those costs that a lot of times we don't really think about. A lot of builders in this price range will include it. Not everyone will. So if you're looking at a specific builder, make sure that you know what's actually gonna be included. Cause a lot of times a builder might look a little bit cheaper, but if you have to spend 10, 15 grand on backyard landscaping, that gap can close pretty quick. All right, so back behind me, we have the kitchen. So they have the nice big countertop here. You're gonna have your quartz countertops, soft closed drawers and doors. You're gonna have the luxury trash and recycle so you don't have to put a ugly trash bin anywhere in your kitchen on the side of your island in your pantry. You're gonna have the big ceramic farmhouse sink looking out into your backyard. As you see behind me, you've got a really good size island. You're gonna have the little almost coffee bar area that can be shut by the barn door. Alturas does do in all of their homes, the actual ceiling height cabinets. You're gonna have the hood, really cool backsplash, full height. You're gonna have a Bosch five burner gas cooktop. Bosch is kind of the standard for this level, but also with Alturas in particular, you're gonna have Bosch. And then in certain communities, you might have Thermador kind of thrown in. Double ovens as well as a microwave here. The microwave though looks just like an oven, so it's not any sort of eyesore. You're gonna have your dishwasher, refrigerator, and then across from the fridge, you're gonna have your pantry. So you're gonna see, you're gonna have your appliance shelf kind of going through, and then you're gonna have all sorts of storage up and down. All right, so let's go ahead and continue through. Down here, you're gonna see an example I point it out in the garage typically, but this is gonna be your central vac unit. So you can actually, you would have to install the actual vacuum, but you can get it installed because it's already pre-plumbed and then you can just kind of have your vacuuming all done to one container in the garage. 
So here's gonna be your master bedroom. You're gonna have the same tray ceilings, really good size, some massive windows, a nice transom window up top. As we come into your master bathroom, you're gonna have dedicated water closet, absolute must. You're gonna have separate walk-in shower. And I believe this is actually the tile that is in our shower. And then over here, behind me, you're gonna see that you're gonna have the actual dedicated soaker tub. So having those two separate is a big, big thing. Dual vanities, you're gonna have quartz countertops in all of your bathrooms, a little bit more of the designer lights. Heading into your walk-in closet, this one's set up really well. They added some extra shelves to really try and give you as much storage space and flexibility as possible. Here we have your laundry room. So you're gonna have cabinets with a countertop. You're gonna have the sink. Washer dryer will go here, rod and shelf, more cabinetry. Little shelving unit. And then this is gonna be your mud room that you're gonna come in from the garage at. So you're gonna have the shiplap with the hooks. You're gonna have the shoe compartments down at the bottom. Then you're gonna have another little shelving unit here. And then one of my favorite parts of every home is the garage. So you're gonna have a full three stars, full three car garage. There you go, always love that it's live. Three car garage here. So you're gonna have one bay and then the two. You're gonna have this little divider wall just because it is a two story. So you do have to have some support from above, of course. Man door out to the outside. This is where that central vac unit would be attached if you decided to actually purchase the unit. The pre-plumbing and having it in your walls is the toughest part. So the fact that they do that is a big win. And then back here, you're gonna have room for furnace. You can get a water softener if you would like. We do have really hard water up here. And then a tankless water heater, so you don't need that big 50 gallon tank. Um, basically, when we had ours installed, they let us know it doesn't mean that your hot water is gonna be absolutely instantaneous, but it does mean that you pretty much have unlimited hot water. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's head upstairs. So as we're kind of walking upstairs, I'll give you a look of the rest of the area. You're gonna have this really large picture window in your stairs that'll give you a ton of natural light throughout the day. As we're coming up, you're gonna have a dedicated closet there. And then the main layout of this is you're gonna have bonus, bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. So. A lot of space up here, but let's start in our ensuite. So this is a guest bedroom, but it is a very long guest bedroom, if you can kind of see it in the video. But the cool thing is, is that it does have a full ensuite bathroom. So you're gonna have your actual quartz countertop, toilet, shower, all dedicated for this lucky guest. Wow, I don't know why going up those stairs got me so out of breath, but let's go ahead. Bedroom number three. And then you're gonna have this shared bathroom for these last two bedrooms. So as we're walking through, you're gonna see bedroom number four here. Again, classic bedroom. So you're going to have the two split bedrooms up here sharing a bathroom as well as the ensuite. But then the main star of the show is you're going to have this massive bonus room here. So since this is a two story, you don't get the same high ceilings downstairs. They're still a really good height, but you're not going to get the vaulted ceiling, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Upstairs though, you're still able to get a little bit of that vault up here. There is no closet, so this is just a bonus room, but there is so much room for whatever you want to accomplish in here. But that's gonna be our first home tour. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. We're gonna check out a single level just right down the road. Okay, so now we're gonna head through our second home by Alturas, kind of right behind me. You can see we're gonna walk through a single level home. It's a three bed, two and a half bath, just over 2000 square feet. It is on an actual corner lot. So you're gonna see as you kind of get down, this is all gonna be maintained by the community on the edge. You just have to take care of your front yard, all of the typical kind of landscape maintenance that you're gonna have to do. 
but let's go ahead and check this one out. As we're walking through, I really wanna point out some of the things that are gonna be different about this one. So this home is gonna be priced just under 600,000 right now. So it's 599. As you walk in, you're gonna have a nice long entryway. You do still have some dedicated space here for some sort of bench, anything along those lines. It has the same wood wrapped kind of arches that the last one did. You're gonna see a couple of them here. Something that is really cool about Alturas, and it's something that we fell in love with with our home is they do these really high doors in a lot of their homes. It just gives it a very elevated feel once you're in a home where they have these nine foot doors, you'll start to realize that the other doors can sometimes feel a little bit constraining. So as you walk in, you have the entryway. Make sure that I keep your bearings. You're gonna see the same hardwood all the way through most of the main area. Right off the entryway, you're gonna have one bedroom right here. And then you're gonna have your first bathroom this is going to be the full bathroom, so you're going to have the actual shower back here. And then as we're coming in, they have it set up as an office, but this is going to be your third bedroom after the master, which we'll get to in a little bit. Really good size bedrooms, especially for guest kind of spare bedrooms. Um, they don't... <laughs> <laughs> they don't make you kind of squeeze into anything that's going to be unusable. As we're coming down the entryway, as we're coming down the entryway, let me, let me actually show you. We have your actual mud room here, very similar to the one that we just saw. They have a the little bit of a cabinet here, hooks with the actual, I need to figure out what those are called, compartments, I guess is a good word, but you know, places to put your shoes. Um, this goes straight into your laundry room, and then this will feed into your master closet. This one does have just a standard two-car garage, but it does have a little bit of an extension back here for some storage, whatever you're looking for. But the big thing is they still have the tankless water heater, and it's still plumbed for the same central vac unit as the last one. As we head back in, again, this is gonna be what you see when you first come into your everyday entry. Let's go ahead and come in through the main area. Before you got your one powder room off the room or off the hallway, you're gonna have your closet right there. And then this is where this one really stands out to me compared to the last one. Obviously square footage is gonna be a lot smaller, so that's part of why the price is gonna be less. But the fact that it's a single level, you're able to do some of these really cool touches. So they do this really big vaulted ceiling out with a little bit of a chapel window. And then something that I love about homes like this is you get that same feel all the way. So as I'm walking out into the yard, you're gonna see behind me that they actually extended that vaulted ceiling, the chapel kind of look of the windows to your patio. So you get a really cool, nice, tall covered patio, which is something that frankly, you just don't see in this price point very often in Ada County, so Meridian Eagle or Boise. This one does still have a really large covered patio. Not quite as big as the last one, but it's still plenty big for whatever you want to do. You're gonna have TV wall right there, no outlet, but easy thing to add afterwards. As we come back in, you do still have the big double screen door as the last. You're gonna see that you have the fireplace a little bit more modern looking than the last one. They have more of the classic mantle stained wood. They have the nice, I guess you can't really hear that but it's like a metal look kind of going around with the shiplap going up. You're gonna have the same built-in shelves, everything like that. As we come back here, this is gonna be a very, 
a much more classic kind of split bedroom floor plan look where you're gonna have a really large island here. You're gonna have the dining room tucked back off to the side. This could fit a pretty good sized dining table. Um, I would probably, eh, I'm not gonna guess the measurements. I can get you measurements if you ever want that, but this is gonna be your kitchen. So again, this island is probably a good foot and a half longer than the last one. You're gonna have some nice cabinet space, same all the way to the ceiling cabinets with the backsplash going up. They did the custom hood. In this one, you have just your microwave or convection oven as well as the oven itself. So just the one oven, same gas cooktop. You're gonna have your trash pull out, farmhouse ceramic sink, and I guess not farmhouse style, but still the ceramic sink. And then you have your dedicated pantry in the back. But now let's go ahead and walk you through the actual master bedroom. So your master is gonna be tucked back behind your living room. You're gonna have this little bit of an entryway to give you just a little bit more privacy. And then as you enter, this is your master bedroom. So you're gonna see the same tray ceilings up here, really large windows letting in a ton of light. Coming into your master bathroom, you're gonna have your standalone tub, dual vanity sinks. You're gonna have quartz countertops in pretty much all of the bathrooms. You're gonna have a walk-in shower here with your glass door, dedicated water closet, and then your walk-in closet. So this one, it's actually a pretty big closet. You've got a lot of space for whatever it is you might want. And then to wrap up, we're gonna show you this laundry room. Again, they do a ton of cabinets. They do the counter, a little bit of a backsplash. You have your sink, rod, and shelf, and then washer and dryer here. And then we're right back into the entryway. All right, and there you have it. That's the brand new community here in Meridian, Idaho, Quartet. If you have any questions about this community, the builders, or just new construction in general, go ahead and reach out. All of my information is down in the description below, so call, text, email, whatever works best for you. I would love to chat and figure out how we can make your move to Meridian as smooth as possible. But until then, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all on the next one.